again and welcome to another interesting video here on Back to Books. I am your truly Pamela. On today's video, we're doing a story on Unzu, the white calabar chalk. We hear a lot of Nigerian women consume it, and especially the pregnant ones. We're going to head on to the market to purchase it, and then we we'll head on to the hospital to seek the opinion of medical doctor to know if it's actually detrimental to the health or if it's actually nutritious to the health if consumed. And we're going to head on to the street of Lagos to find out why Nigerians consume it and what it tastes like when they consume it. So let's go find out. White calabar chalk is a geophagic material popularly consumed in West African countries for pleasure and by pregnant women as a cure for nausea. Geophagic is the practice of eating the earth, including soy and chalk. This practice is neither new nor outdated and can be associated with religious beliefs, medication or as part of a regular diet. Calabar chalk in Igbo is called Nzu, in Epic and Ibibio called Ndom, and it is called Eko in Edo. Calabar chalk is found predominantly in Nigeria and other West African communities. The white calabar chalk, Unzu. I do sell it. Okay. So how long have you been selling it? Over ten years. Okay. So do you consume it? Do you take it? I don't take it. Uh... There was a day I said, let me just test this thing. But people do like it anyway. But after taking it, maybe five minutes after taking it, I started having heartburn. So I don't take it. Like there are some women. Women so much like it. It is only in this Lagos I say that women can do with that Unzu. If it is in my own village, the people that normally take it is people that have early pregnancy. Like from first month to three months, you know, that time they normally spit. But when they are taking it, it will um, reduce the spitting and the vomiting. Uh -huh. And uh, our elderly people told us that you normally wash the baby in the uh, stomach. But it's only in this Lagos I saw people who don't even, who are not pregnant, taking it. The person you are asking me, I'm asking them too. You have two, two types. Okay. You get the flat one, okay. you get this round one. Okay. But the round one is the one the pregnant women normally take in my village. Okay. Uh, this is the round one. Okay. So this one is called, called? Nzu. Okay. Nzu. Uh, this one is called, uh, some people they call, they call them Takere. Takere. Some people they call them Otike. Otike. Uh, the flat one. The difference between two of them, this one doesn't have salt. Okay. But this one they do it with salt, they mold it with salt. Okay. This one doesn't have salt at all. This one have, I don't have any test. I can take this one. Okay. It doesn't have any test. Okay. But this one have uh, is somehow sorting. Okay. I think the people that are preparing it, they are using salt to do it. Okay. Uh, which one do people patronize, or which one do they buy more? They buy it more. Okay. That's why the round one. They buy it more. To only the flat one. There was a time we went for a conference. So the person that took us on uh, health matter okay. told us that the flat one normally calm down BP for people that have BP. It normally can BP. But this one I can I don't I, I don't think it has any because I can see the people that are taking it. After some time see that it's affecting them. That's physically. When you look at them, you see their cheek dropping. And that's why I don't I don't like it.
true. This one is actually very salty. It is really, really salty. So, can we try this one? So, I'm about to test that Takiri. This one is actually stronger than the normal one, the previous one I took. So, let's test this one. This is actually very tasteless. It doesn't have salt and it's a bit strong. So, that is. This is Takiri and this is. Unzu. Bata Box